everyone. This is the start of our second drive. The speed limit is not 40 on this road, so that's just a mapping issue, data issue. I wanted to start here. Normally, I start at the bottom of the mountain, but I wanted to start here because of this left turn here. There's a bush to my left and a stop sign right here, and it stops too far back. The previous update did that perfectly. This update did it worse again. Um, so I just have to note that it should stop further up for that stop sign or at least creep a little bit more for it. It might be able to see clearly from the left, but it's still stopping too far back. And it does well. Uh, this is about as well as it's ever done, just coming around that. As you can see, the lane lines are pretty cruddy. Uh, so it does well going around those curbs. This particular route, we are leaving from Hendersonville to go to Arding Target. Um, we are taking back roads. Fortunately, navigation would normally take the highway, but I want to take the two lane roads to test full cell driving. I'm gonna pay attention here. This is a spot I want to get on video. Look at there, it stopped. Okay, so in previous updates, it would not have stopped for that car, uh, for sure. And that was a much more aggressive entrance. That's exactly what I want to see. So that's a really good improvement. Make sure the camera is straight for us. So it braked a little bit for that freeze right there. It still does that. 9.0 is really bad, and it has improved since 9.0. But cars that are oncoming around a blind curve, like this would be a blind curve. Um, so that Jeep right there, it didn't brake for the Jeep, but it has braked for cars that are like coming towards me as if they were, it thought it was in my lane, uh, which has improved over the last couple updates. And that has changed with vision. It didn't used to do that with radar, but with vision, it, they're probably just being overly cautious. See how it does here, there's no lane lines right here. Now they great before it would go into the the turn lane there. So this that was an improvement as well. So far 9.2 on this drive is doing fantastic. Just want to make sure our camera is good. You can see stuff well. I don't have um, I have a 360 camera I'm borrowing from my sister. Uh, so some of the videos today might include some footage from a 360 cam I'm gonna mount up to the top of the car. We'll see how that works. I don't have much experience using it uh, or editing with it, but I'm gonna try it out and give us a different perspective of how things are going on. Especially we're gonna try out, um, I'm testing with Mike today, our uh, president of the Western North Carolina Tesla owners group. And um, we are going to test out some unprotected lefts and some blind left turns and blind right turns. Uh, see if we can, uh, if the car can make it and properly creep the B pillars have been a point of contention, whether or not Tesla needs to add a camera or not to the car. I'm a little bit mixed. For the most part, I think they can fix it with software. Uh, there are gonna be a few like very rare edge cases where I don't think software is going to be able to fix it. However, well, fix it. Uh, it can fix it by just ch changes its changes its route. It'll just go an alternative route, basically. In 99.999 percent of cases, it'll just go an alternative route. The point zero 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 one percent cases, that's going to be the question mark. Perhaps uh, it will figure out how to do it. Well, that will be found out within a couple years for sh for sure. So this light right here, it is stopping at an appropriate distance back. That is something that has drastically improved with the 9 series updates. Vision has made that way better, the Vision update. So it stopped at the old line. So I'm going to push it to go forward to this new line right here. Okay, good. So it did stop. And it started up again. Um, so if you didn't see, it had an old line that was badly 
um, covered over and then it had the new line. It stopped at the old line first, which is good. Uh, it's erring on the side of caution and it's just playing it safe, of course, to uh, make sure it stops in the right place. It's not a bad thing if it stops too far back, but it is a bad thing if it stops too far forward. Okay, it needs to be stopping way sooner. It should have been slowing a lot sooner than that. That being said, it didn't break too aggressively. It's just for my liking, it should have been slowing down much sooner. I saw the red light, I saw the car braking. I would have liked my car to stop slow and start slowing much sooner than it did. Okay, so this is a spot. <laughs> okay. Improvement from the last time I went on this road. I don't have this section on video, but I have done it on the beta previously, and it definitely is an improvement. Um, however, it did swing still, and I would like it just to stay to the right instead of swinging. And that it has to do just strictly with a routing nav improvement. So we got a green arrow on that turn. Uh, versus a red, right on red. So it was easier for the car than it was on pre my previous attempt. Let's see if it sees his roadkill. Um, I don't know if it's solid or not. It didn't slow down, which is good. <laughs> it's trying to try and stop for roadkill. It shouldn't just go right over top of it. It should, of course, not try and hit it with the tires, but it did exactly what we wanted in this case. Okay, she, oh, oh wait, that's, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm used to going to the outlets by taking a left here, and I thought I was supposed to turn, I was like, wait a second. It should actually get back in the right lane, so I'm gonna, unless we start passing this car up here. Uh, I don't think we are. I'm gonna tell it to get back in the right lane. Uh, it should, on this road, stay in the right lane. Okay, so from my point of view, I should be slowing down right now, but it's not. It needs to be able to see those lights way further up. It is slowing, obviously, now. But, of course, the light just changed, but you've got to account for the cars are starting to speed up. Otherwise, this actually did it very well. I would have personally slowed down sooner, but in this case, the light changed, and it ended up doing it very well. Uh, I don't know why it braked here. Debatably turn a little bit left, uh, I mean, getting in this lane a little bit too early. However, as you can see, there's traffic up ahead. And the road, we're, the lane we're trying to turn on, it's hard to get into. It starts getting a lot more traffic as we get towards the interstate, which is right there. And so we won't, do actually want to be in this left lane um, relatively soon. But this is actually probably a good move from the car's routing point. Uh, running standpoint. Oh, darn it. Uh, I turned the wheel. I should just let it go. And I'm not going to count that as a disengagement. Um, I meant to just make it an intervention. Um, so it's definitely an intervention, but not a disengagement. I had held the wheel. I pulled the wheel by accident instead of pressing the cancel button. Um, this is a... These lights are what I want to see what happens here. These, these are one of those weird crossover intersections. Uh, where you turn left and then you go back right again. You go on the opposite side of the road. And so I did this actually with autopilot before the beta and it made it. Uh, this is last year at some point. I, I don't recall when. But um, I have yet to do this on the beta. And I have heard another beta tester, tester do one of these and it succeeded. So we're going to see if 9.2 can succeed as well. We are heading through. Okay. That was very good.
this is a good test. The lines are worn away. The car coming on my right. Curb on the left, and it's doing well. This is not the correct turn lane. Um, it did correct itself. It's not the correct turn lane. That's, again, a routing issue. It's like, the car, I mean, humans make those mistakes all the time. However, the car should just all, all automatically have the map memorized, of course, and then not make that. Um, normally, I probably would have actually wanted to turn into that lane. You can actually take the back way around. Usually, this intersection right here is very busy, um, and you get stuck, so... No, 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 no. Oh, damn it. Okay, that's our first disengagement. It needed to get over. It was going to pass the lane. Um, this is the turn lane it needs to get in, and this is why I would rather turn further back. So that's definitely a disengagement. Um, however, I wouldn't call that a serious issue. It, what it would have done is gone past, or I... Hopefully what it would not have done is tried to squeeze in like You know the people who try and squeeze in last minute because they missed a turn um, Full self driving should never do that. It should never become that type of driver um, Otherwise, um, I have to call that disengagement. Otherwise, I think it did very well if it makes it through this turn This will be a one dis disengagement drive And um, we'll see what it does <laughs> I thought the blinker was turning on. It's randomly turning the blinker on. It just turns it on and turns it off. I'm gonna turn it on manually and see if it stays on. Yeah. I wonder if it's gonna turn it off as well. It's a very interesting, I don't know if I, I guess it's a bug. Um, it turned the blinker off and then back on again, so. Uh, it obviously needs to stay on when it's in the turn lane. And uh, as you can see for the car in front of us, not all humans will turn it on. I'm guilty as charged for doing the same thing. You're in the turn lane, you don't have to turn single on, but uh, the car should have its turn single on when it's in the turn lane. Okay, go. I'm not pressing the accelerator. It needs to start up a little bit quicker. I'm gonna um, auto lane change unavailable. Ah. Well, I did the right thing. I would have, as a human, I would have pushed through the light. Uh, it would have been red as I was in his intersection, which I believe is legal as long as it's yellow when you get into the intersection You're fine um, But as from the car standpoint, I think it did the right thing See how it does on this turn This car is too far out And it made it so that car should have been further back on that SUV right there. But my car made it through and should take a left, I'm sorry, I'm right, right here. All right, the next turn, next turn. Again, even I have trouble reading the map sometimes. It's not gonna make this. Oh, well, again. I'm being safe. <laughs> Um, okay. I mean, extra cost. It, it did get too close to that car, for sure. That person definitely looked at me weird. So, I'm gonna park back here and go in the Target real quick, and then I'll head out and we'll do our next drive. Um, but I guess, well, just to follow up, I, I would call that, I'm gonna call it two interventions. Um, it got too close to that car, and it could have swung a little bit further right. Uh, I had to lock out the wheel, so it probably would have made it, but obviously I took over. So it's going to be two intervention drive. I uh, appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, I thought it did very well, 9.2. These aren't interventions that would have been prevented on any other update. So I, so far, 9.2 is definitely better. And just subscribe if you want to keep on seeing them, and I will be putting out more videos for the rest of the week. Thanks, guys. Bye.